I don't remember elementary school being all that much fun because most I recall was getting harassed by all the other students for being a fresh off the boat immigrant and all the boys being fucking idiots. Thankfully, the former stopped happening with time, but the latter still rings true to this day for a long laundry list worth of reasons. But at the time, at my school and most other schools, the guys would bully, pick on, pinch, kick, and make fun of all the girls they liked. And this particular asshole, we can call him Taiji, because his name is Taiji, just couldn't get enough of me. So one day during lunchtime, he comes over to where I'm sitting and demands, give me your apple. I say no. He says it again louder. I say no even louder. Then, in true Taiji fashion, he starts pulling my fucking hair. And I don't know what got into me, but I got up and slapped his dumb ass right across the face. He was shocked. But before he could react or say anything, his big, brolic, ugly, glad bag full of mayonnaise, bad built ass, big, 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 big sister comes over. Oh no, nah, I'm about to beat this African bitch up. Uh, bitch, excuse me? What? And I don't want you to confuse my median confidence with real confidence. In all actuality, truly, I was terrified. The bitch was huge, man. I don't know how else you want me to put it. Maybe she doesn't want to find me for real. Maybe she was just making a scene for, I don't know, a show of support? Good big sister, right? Wrong. A crowd starts to form and you start to feel the sea of instigation. Ooh, what you gonna do? She said she was gonna fuck your African ass up. Hit her. Punch her. Hit her. Felt more like a zoo than a goddamn elementary school. She starts stepping forward and as we're getting close, the teacher steps in to break us up before anything happens. He cools down the situation and luckily neither of us has to make a trip to the principal's office. I start telling my friends and a couple of other people in the almost dispersed crowd, I don't want to fight her. He just wouldn't stop bothering me. And just like the Kool-Aid man that she was, she jumps into our conversation abruptly and grabs me by the shirt. Nah, fuck all that bitch, I'm fucking your little African ass up as soon as we get out of school. She lets go of my collar and I remember my first thought being, we're only in fourth grade, how does she know these many curse words? For the remainder of the day, I'm pacing back and forth in my head, replaying a hundred different scenarios where I die fighting this girl, looking for a needle in the haystack where I come out on top. And as soon as I was done laying out my 101st death, the final announcements start over the intercom. My heart immediately starts beating fast in anticipation of the final bell. Also, if I couldn't already feel the eyes of the entire room staring down on me, which I could, the constant side whispering was enough to drive me crazy. Thirsty uncivilized heathens. I get out of the school and I'm instantly relieved because I don't see her. Instead, I run into my cousin at the corner store along the way on my walk home and she tells me, uh, yeah, you gotta fight this girl. She's beginning the whole school hype about it. Maybe she forgot? My cousin doesn't say a word back. She just stone faces me for a second. She didn't forget. Then she walks straight out of the store. All my anxiety comes back as I'm picking up my chips and drink. I get out of the store and you guessed it. There she is. You ready to die, bitch? <laughs> no, no I'm not. God, no. I look her square in the face. What's up, bitch? She charges at me and the strength of all my ancestors immediately starts coursing through my veins. I punch her, I kick her, I jump on top of her and start pouring at her eyes, pulling her hair, kneeing her in the ribs, twisting her neck. I might have even bitten this bitch. Somebody get this crazy African bitch off me! She's crazy was fine, because I actually blacked out. But I took particular offense to her saying African in that sentence, you know? Because at the time, I wasn't even sure in the least bit what the American way was to fight. How you gonna blame me for that? All I knew was when I got home, my cousins were cheering for me, and my mom was wildly perplexed. When they told her what had happened, she started cheering along with them. It was a real feel-good moment, in all honesty. But I don't know, I guess I felt bad. I might have really hurt her or something. I don't think she was ready for me to do all that to her. As always, my mom felt my energy and asked what was wrong. After I explained it to her, she paused for a moment, looked away, smiled briefly, and looked back to me. Baby, you're such a sweet girl. But two things for sure and one thing for certain. Ain't no rules in a street fight. And the bitch got what she deserved. Huh. Good point, mom. Mothers always know best. I, I, I